What is going on, A1 gang? We are back. Happy New Year's to each and every last one of you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the new year and I uh, hope everything is going well. Um, before we begin, we got a 2018 Lexus LS500. And um, now that we've done three flagship vehicles, let me know which one is y'all favorite. This one, out of the BMW and the Audi that we did, this one by far is my favorite so far. And I'm gonna show y'all why in a few minutes too. So when you unlock it, look how those lights look. Just so luxurious. That thing is phenomenal, man. So let's take a quick walk around it real quick. Got the chrome wheels. This thing is crazy. It's called, the paint is intimate white. Intimate white. So when you look at the back of it, them, them lights is, man, all wheel drive. So very beautiful, as, I mean, not SUV, but a very nice vehicle. You go ahead. <laughs> Very nice. So you got the chrome accent at the bottom to match the wheels as well. So right here in the sticker, so this is what you have for performance. You got a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 putting out 416 horsepower. You got a 10 speed sequential automatic transmission. You also get the uh, for the luxury and convenience features, you also get the Lexus Inform Wi-Fi with the four gigabytes of that, which is a one year trial included. You also get the first 10 years of ownership. As long as you have the vehicle, your SOS system is free. The first 10 years, so you can't beat that at all. So if you need roadside assistance or anything, it's free for the first 10 years. So that's, <laughs> that's crazy. And that's included on basically all Lexus vehicles as well too. And um, the Inform, the Lexus Inform is actually an app on your phone and it's complimentary your first year. Uh, after the first year, it's $80, um, $80 a year. So say for instance, you're on a trip around the world somewhere and you stay in a cold climate and your car has been sitting in the garage or wherever for a few weeks and you've been gone a few days and it's just freezing cold back home. You can start your vehicle up while you somewhere else and it'll start up as long as your, your phone is connected and everything. You're all good to go. You got a Marx Levison 23 speaker sound system in here. So your base price is $78,220. Fully loaded like this one is, $104,226. So <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's a house. <laughs> we'll just say that. But out of, out of the, the flagships that we saw, I'll show you why. <laughs> To me, let me know which one y'all y'all think is better. To me, it's this one just because of the value. Lexus is gonna hold its value a lot better. So when the doors lock, the mirrors fold in. I'm gonna start it off for y'all real quick. Let me let y'all get this exhaust note. To me, Lexus is gonna hold its value a lot better than that BMW and that um that Audi. So that's why I choose the Lexus. But let me let y'all get this exhaust note. of sound and note to say the least for me I, I think it sounds good I don't care if it doesn't have a v8 just because you got the v6 twin turbos putting out just as much if not more than a v8 or just close enough I'm gonna use this as a reference point I'm no way in any shape fashion or form now look at that engine twin turbo on that now, I'm not using this as no other thing but uh just just as a reference point so now um you got a uh let's let's take the the challenger or the charger for instance 
you got that's 416 horsepower right there by the way twin turbo so you got the challenger and the charger that's putting out the scat packs 6.4 liter putting out 485 horsepower now you got a twin turbo v6 putting out 416 horsepower so you see what i'm saying you're getting v8 numbers out of uh v6 with twin turbos although those are naturally aspirated engines but you see what i'm saying though but uh let's go ahead and talk about this interior real quick so on the door right here you got soft touch materials everything is soft touch you got suede alcantara whatever you want to call it you got the gloss wood i don't normally like the gloss wood but it works with this vehicle very nice memory seating typical door buttons you got the ambient lighting right there everything is soft touch even down here scuff where your shoes scuff soft touch lexus door seals seat controls all of that good stuff lumbar all of that so let's get in it real quick seats are nice and bolstered up as well too so let's get in here real quick i don't know if i showed y'all the key but you got the nice lexus key and the doors are uh soft soft closed so if you um don't close them all the way they close themselves so i got in the sport plus mode right now so as you can see it lights up red with the sport plus then you got the sport mode which is still red and then you got your comfort and you got the eco and then you got normal and all of that shows over here too. We're gonna put it back in normal. So you got the big Lexus logo on the steering wheel with the paddle shifters, both sides. And you got your headlight buttons and all of that stuff. So you got your, got your 3D camera view, bird's eye view when you hit this button to the left of the steering wheel down there. It shows you, you know, all the way around the car. And then you can see, I don't know what that's showing you, but it's showing you something. <laughs> so you got the heads up display. Now that heads up display is humongous. Like it is wide. Like it, let me let me let y'all look how big that is. That thing is huge. So you got the heads up display. And you can turn it on and turn it off. It's nice and crisp too. So right here you can cycle throughout these uh Let's see, can you cycle throughout? Yeah, so you got your music, your compass, everything like that. No messages, blind spot, parking assist, um, everything, heads up display, your units, pre-collision system, lane center, steering assist, um, sensitivity, vehicle settings, everything is in there, so all your features. Then right here, you got your snow mode and traction right there. You got dual climate control. Actually, you got a four-way zone because you got the front, which is dual, and then the back is dual as well. So you got all that stuff. And it, this is not a touchscreen. It's like a glass right here. You can't really see it. You can't even see it in person. Also, you got like a screen right there too. See how everything flows, like the vents and everything, it just flows throughout. You got ambient lighting in that door over there. Everything just flows. You got soft touch dashboard even up there as well. I'm gonna put y'all on pause real quick for a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. But uh, like I was saying, um, everything flows throughout the dashboard. Very nice. You got the Lexus clock right there. Soft touch materials. Everything is nice and premium feel. Got your electronic park brake buttons, physical buttons everywhere too. So you don't just have to rely on going into the infotainment system. And then you got the Mark Levison badging right there because you got Mark Levison speakers. Uh, this is a very nice vehicle. You got the glove box. You just hit the button. Nice and spacious in there as well. So, right here you got your map button that's going to take you to your maps. Maps look kind of dated compared to the uh, Audis, but it tells you real-time traffic. So guys, as I was taking y'all throughout the maps of the vehicle, the uh, camera actually died. It's over there in the seat. So I'm switched to my GoPro for the time being. So um, I actually had to reshoot this vehicle. That's why I didn't did some more. I ain't gonna tell y'all what, <laughs> but we did some more vehicles. But I actually reshot this vehicle, so this will be the first one y'all see. But uh, yeah, the camera actually died, so I ain't worried about it. And I, I forgot to get the other camera. But um, I got the GoPro, so it's good enough. And uh, right here, now this map, like I was saying, it does look kind of dated compared to the, the uh, Audi that we just did not too long ago. But I mean, 
it is what it is. It's still got the real time traffic and you see they doing construction on the road as well. Um, you got your speed limit, it's gonna tell you all of that. Um, you still get your dual, your, your climbing off to the side over there as well. So you got your different media, radio, your different apps, infotainment and all that stuff. Now I don't know why they don't give you Apple CarPlay on this one just because on the uh, Lexus ES that I did, now this vehicle costs two times the price of that Lexus ES that I did and um, that even had Apple CarPlay but I guess you get screen projection I guess but I mean it's not a deal breaker for me but to some people it is I guess but uh, everything is soft touch even on the dash you got your garage home link up here the SOS up there you got a space for your glasses where you can sit your glasses at in there um, you got the you know LED with the vanity mirror so I'm actually pop the trunk take out to the trunk in a few minutes the trunk is auto opening um, you got the dual panoramic roof so you can hit that button and it opens that up up there back here too I mean this this layout man this is nicely laid out so right here where your cup holders at you get a 12 volt charger set my phone down for a second so right here get the uh, 12 volt charger and the USB and the aux cord down there as well it's probably so dark let me turn on my light on my phone so there you go you get the uh, USB and the 12 volt charger so I'm gonna use the light from my phone where wherever it's dark at in certain areas because the GoPro can get very dark in certain areas for some reason so you can you can adjust your seat all different kinds of ways as you can see in the infotainment system right there you get multiple different uh, ways that you can adjust it so that's pretty cool uh, you also get memory seats over there as well we actually gonna get out real quick and go to the back and then show you, we're gonna show you all the trunk first and then we're gonna show you all the back as well so you got the panoramic roof up top like I said So very nice and spacious trunk. You got the cargo net in there, the mats, everything, first aid kit, very big trunk. And it is automatic, so you just hit the button and it lets itself down. Bam, just like that. So let's get in the back seat right here. Now you get the touch sensors on all four doors too. I'm gonna just open it from here because you know me and doors don't get along. get the soft touch closing so look at that soft touch so now we're gonna open that back up mark levinson door speakers right there as you can see i don't know if y'all can see that but uh very nice let's get in here real quick so you got the real wood on the back of the seat too now these seats do move as well you can adjust them so we're gonna get in here real quick and just talk about it same materials on this back door too you got the uh hold on let me grab my phone real quick from the front because this this dark leather man is is making it hard to see so let's see here so right here like i said you got the mark levison on a door speaker it says it right up there so right there you got the uh vents right there so you can cool yourself down also you got the sun shades right here i don't know how to open these Maybe it's something in this infotainment system that's back here. But you got the sunshade on the door. Um, you got the vanity mirrors right here. So you can look at yourself with the light. Nice gradually coming on light. You got speakers up here as well too. Dual, dual climate back here as well. And then you get a 12 volt down there as well. Very nice man. This car just screams money. <laughs> Very nice too. So right here. Let's let this down. Man, this thing is heavy too. All right, so got the real wood on there. Cup holders. Got the screen right here. So you just turn that on just like so. And uh, I don't know where that light, oh, that light is coming. So let me close that up. Close the roof. That light is coming in and it was uh, beaming on it. So, all right, let's go right here. So as you can see, you could close the shades right there. You got your audio, your climate, like I said. 
you can you got heated and cooled seats back here as well too so you and the passenger could have different settings as well as the heat and stuff up here then you got your seats where you can adjust your seats you can move them you can see memory seats you can move all different parts of these seats in and out up and down I mean you could do so much it's just endless possibilities then you got your lights which we close the roof you got your doors right there there it is right there so that button brings up the sunshade on the door bam put that back down then you could turn on the, the overhead lights in the vehicle right here turn that one on and I could turn it off I could turn that one on turn that one off and uh, you can do all of that right here so that's pretty cool then right here you got your own little center console with your two USBs let's bring that light back so you got two USBs right there and a nice little storage so now do I think this car is worth a hundred and four thousand dollars yes just because first off you getting Lexus or well, Toyota Lexus uh, reliability um, everything feels premium in here as well I mean I'm, I don't really care about the v6 engine and all that some people may but it is not a deal breaker for me oh let me show you how the leg room look at the leg room too you got the storage pocket right there too but uh like I was saying I don't really care about that that's not a turn that light on that's not a big deal breaker for me having the uh, v6 that's not I, I can care less but um yeah I mean compared to what what other vehicles like the the audi and the bmw and stuff yeah those vehicles was nice but their value is going to drop tremendously like you can go find a 7 series bmw right now like a 2010 and you can find that thing for like probably under 20 grand or probably like 15 grand or something like that like those vehicles lose value so fast and you spent over a hundred thousand dollars on them and then they just plummet same thing with the audis as well audi i think audi kind of holds his value a little just a tad bit better maybe when it comes to that flagship but i've i've, I've yet to see a, a ls lexus you can even see some 07s and they're still like 15 grand i mean they just hold their value so well just well put together cars but um yeah i would definitely take this over all of them and to me it's, it's worth it if you got that bag that you want to spend on it and go right ahead it's definitely worth it but um i hope you guys like this review We'll see you guys in the next and thank you for watching.